Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, this week is Doppler's birthday, which actually falls on St. Patrick's Day, which is just super cute. And I wanted to try to make homemade horse treats this week. I haven't done this before, and so I figured that we would um, kind of go along this journey together, and i show you guys how I'm gonna I shouldn't say how I'm going to make home. I'm, I will show you guys my attempt at making homemade horse treats that way in case it fails. <laughs> we tried together. Um, so I got this lovely recipe from my friend Jenna, um, who's made homemade horse treats before. So I'm gonna go get some of these ingredients at the store and then I'm going to attempt to bake some homemade horse treats and we'll be able to hopefully give them to Doppler for his birthday this week. So we are back from the store and I have all my lovely ingredients here. The directions say to mix flour, oats, the grated carrot, mashed banana, and leave the peppers out. So I'm going to start by putting my ingredients in this bowl and mixing them together. So the recipe calls for... Two cups of flour. I'm always like really messy with the flour. And then two cups of oats. One. How not <laughs> to measure things out, a little extra oats for dop. Oops. Um, so one cup, so I'm gonna continue to use this cup of grated carrot. I'll be very honest that I've never grated a carrot before. So this could be a learning experience. Get this little like potato grater. I feel like this could take a really long time. I might just chop it instead, I'm not sure. These are coming out in slices too, which I feel like is not how you're supposed to do things. So maybe don't take my advice. Um, you're probably supposed to use like a cheese grater. And I don't have one of those, so. this I don't even think this is called a grater. Okay, clearly I'm not a chef. I use this to peel potatoes with, um, so just don't follow my instructions. I'm already going down this road now, so I'm just gonna continue doing this silly thing that I'm doing. I think what I'm gonna do when I finish grating this carrot is then dump the gratings onto a cutting board and maybe chop them a little more finely. I would just think that since they're gonna be cookies, they shouldn't be long pieces, so that's why I'm kind of chopping them up quickly. Maybe you can get a better view of the mess I made. So this is what happened when I used my potato peeler. This, yeah. So that's how this is going. Also, pro tip, start your oven. It needs to preheat. Um, you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees. The recipe calls for molasses, um, which I did did see at the grocery store. However, I already had some honey at home and my friend said that that was okay to substitute with. So we're gonna go with that today. Do you want a piece of carrot? Come. Come. She's so polite now. She's like, oh, I know I'm not supposed to jump. Okay, so carrots and one mashed banana. Oh, but this seems like a good idea because mashing it in the bowl was probably less of a good idea. I'd like to 
start by saying I've never done this before. <laughs> never tried it. It sounded simple. Okay, so honey, now we are gonna stir all this good stuff together. It's gonna become like dough, perhaps. Big bowl of ingredients. I'm gonna stir now. I don't know if you guys do this, but when I make cookies, I always start stirring and I'm like, oh my God, there's too much flour. That's how I feel right now. It looks like a lot of flour. But we're gonna keep stirring. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. I feel like this recipe needs more. It's still a little like fluffy. And Doppler loves bananas, so I am going to put another banana in. This is just a gut decision. I'm not saying it's going to be the right decision. But we're going to try it. Okay. Making some progress now, for sure. Okay. Now I'm going to make the cookies on this cookie sheet and then they have to cook for 10 minutes. So let's see if I can form some little balls here. I'm sorry, Dakota. Okay, forming the actual cookies is going better than I expected. <sighs> can you imagine if I go through all this effort and Doppler doesn't even like them? Because that's highly possible. <laughs> So this is what they look like, and I am putting them in the oven. Okay, now we wait 10 minutes, see what they look like, and put the peppermints in. Fingers crossed, I didn't totally botch it. Not too bad looking. That looks like a weird puppy, does it not? Um, so now I put the puppies in the cookies. I have the feeling that some of my cookies are kind of going to fall apart, but we shall see. So I'm going to finish putting puppies in these cookies, which I think it's I think it was good that I made them relatively big, cook large pony treats. And then I'm gonna let them cool. And in the meantime, I'm going to make another smaller batch. I've had some time to cool. It's time, time to see if I can pick them up without them totally crumbling. Okay, news flash, spray your cookie sheet, um, but I didn't have any cooking sprays, so this is all we're dealing with. Okay, so this I can be pretty proud of. Um, who knows if Doppler will want to eat them, but they uh, came together okay. And they, even though they were kind of crumbly going into the oven, they definitely um, stick together as a cookie. And voila. So I'm going to pack these up and take them to the barn for Doppler's birthday. And see how he and his pony pals like them. So it's Wednesday, um, the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, and it's Dob's birthday. So I brought the homemade cookies to try. 
plot twist, the peppermints melted a little bit. So apparently I should have waited a little longer for them to cool. Um, but the cookies are still intact, just a little less pretty. And um, now to test and see if Doppler likes them. If not, then his friends are gonna make out like bandits. He sees me and he's coming to see me. My GoPro just died, but um, let's see if he likes the cookies. Hey buddy, let's see if I can hold the camera and... Hey, what do you think? A little skeptical. What do you think of your birthday cookies? Oh, yum. Nummy? You want to go inside and have some more? I think it's safe to say that he likes his birthday cookies. Yummy. <clears throat> do you want more? Oh yes, so good. Birthday success, huh? Yes. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. Special boy is 19 today. And he gets kisses even though he's not Irish. Okay, so I'm not doing a whole lot of other stuff on the vlog this week because I feel like I've already been a little wild. <laughs> so, um, Dab is getting his birthday beamer session and I'm going to um, massage him with the groomer, get some dirt up, and then I'm actually gonna try hot toweling with some coconut oil, which I heard is really good for their skin and coat and helps their hair be nice and shiny and clean. So, we're gonna try that. Uh, but first, before I do that, I'm just gonna get some of this hair off since he's shedding his winter coat. Initial layer of dirt off and hair. So I just put a glob of coconut oil, this is just some organic virgin coconut oil from Trader Joe's, into a bucket of hot water. So, I'm not going to wait for the finished product because I have things to do today. But, that being said, I can already see the shine on his neck where there's less hair. You can see it's pretty shiny. I'm gonna put his, um, oh. I'm gonna put his cooler on so he can dry before we have jump school later. But, that is pretty much it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed um, making homemade cookies and Daffy's birthday. Hi. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.